One of the biggest pains when you're grocery shopping is dealing with the cart. Yes, yes, they give you antiseptic wipes to clean the handle, but then you end up pushing it with your knee until it dries. Plus, there's always one wheel that likes to mess with you. But what if you didn't even have to touch that shopping cart? What if it followed you around like a loyal puppy with a basket? Here's Adam Yamaguchi. Who doesn't know this drill? Can you believe we've been pushing around this metal contraption since 1937? But that shopping cart with the bad wheel your mom used and her mom used and Eleanor Roosevelt used is still pretty much unchanged. I'm baffled. Today, they're building cars that drive themselves. Why do we still rely on technology from nearly 80 years ago to help us gather our fruits, vegetables, and cookie dough ice cream? That's all about to change thanks to creative minds like CK Sample and Eric Schneider at Chaotic Moon in Austin, Texas. They showed me their prototype for a smart cart. It's a shopping cart with a brain. And here it is. Yep, here it is. So, so this is the next generation of shopping cart. Yes, or at least one version of it, I would say. Why did you decide that this needed to be reinvented now? The shopping cart works for carrying things and helping you shop, but with all the new technologies that are out there, there's lots of interesting things you can do. So if your kids are having too much chocolate or too much candy, and you're having to restock every few days, this will tell you. Yeah, yeah, and you can actually take the information that this is gathering and it'll actually warn you in the store so that when you start to drop in you know, that bar of chocolate, it'll say, whoa, 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 you're overfeeding your kids on chocolate according to the settings that you've set up for your children. When might I see this at my local supermarket? It could be in the next year or so. There are scanners in stores, there are eye beacons starting to be deployed in stores to tell you location of where things are, but I think we're almost there. Before I could actually take the smart cart out and try it in a store, Eric had to teach me how to interact with it. Hello Adam, your shopping list has loaded. The first item on your shopping list is spaghetti noodles. They are located on aisle six, section four. May I follow you there? Yes, item. Pasta, spaghetti. You have indicated you prefer gluten-free. Can I recommend a gluten-free alternative? Sure. The bowl spaghetti is a popular alternative located down the aisle six in section three. Thank you. I have calculated your total and charged your account. Have a nice day. There are no lines? No, that's the whole idea. It streamlines the entire oh, process. Wow. So you can get in and out of the grocery store without even standing in a single line. The smart cart uses a camera to recognize and connect with my image, which means I'm its master, and it must follow me everywhere. Well, that's the idea. May I follow you there? OK. I am following you. Whoa, this is fast. How do I get stop? Stop! Stop! <laughs> stop! <laughs> Can you change the speed settings on this? Yes. We don't want this, you know, running... Chasing you through the market. Yeah, chasing Grandma Joe through the market, you know, and running her over. After a few tweaks and adjustments, we were ready for the big test. I decided to try it out in a real store. But first, we had to walk to the store. Come on, let's go. Some guys have cool cars or motorcycles. Me? I'm rocking a shopping cart. I personally can't wait for the smart cart to become a helpful tool in making shopping easier and faster with greater health benefits. I just didn't think running would be one of them. I'm Adam Yamaguchi.